Hi, welcome to the Great Margarita Hunt. I'm Jenny and I'm on the hunt for the best margarita in the whole world and I'm inviting you to come with me. Before we get started, please go ahead and click on like and subscribe. I hope you're going to like it. And for today, we're going to celebrate Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Let me show you what we're going to use over here on the side. We're going to make a very special dark and sweet Valentine margarita using Extra and Yeho. We've got the Avion right here, and we're going to use that with the Gramenier Blue. And then for our Strawberry Jalapeno Margarita, we're going to use Don Filano. I really do like this margarita, this tequila, I mean. And we're going to have a Valentine's Day Strawberry Margarita that makes for at least three people or maybe just a really good one for you and we're going to use this Mi Familia with some strawberries and some lime and some jalapenos and some chocolate. How can you go wrong with strawberries and chocolate on Valentine's Day? You just can't. So the first one we're going to try is going to be this very special dark and sweet Valentine margarita. And let's go ahead and take a look at this recipe. For the dark and sweet Valentine margarita, we're going to use two ounces of this extra Añejo, I'm using the Avion, and one ounce of jalapeno simple syrup, so it has a little bit of spice in it, a half ounce of the Grand Marnier Blue orange liqueur, and we have that melted dark chocolate rim, which is going to be really good. And I'm gonna put just a little bit more ice in here, don't need a lot, I'm gonna strain that ice. Two ounces of this beautiful Avion, extra añejo, which is sipping tequila, right? So normally people aren't using extra añejo to make a margarita, but this is Valentine's Day and we're celebrating. And this is going to be good. So, and then I need one ounce. I made some jalapeno simple syrup with about a cup of jalapenos chopped up and I used a cup of sugar and then a cup of water and let that simmer together. And then we ate the jalapenos when they were done. It was like jalapeno candy, it was really good. A one ounce of the jalapeno simple syrup. So here's the other, no, that's one full ounce. And then we've got the half ounce of Grand Meunier Blue. They, this is thanks to a guy, a girl and a trail, they're the ones that introduced me to this. And I have found that I really, I like this extra one. The Grand Meunier Blue is a little more expensive, but it does seem to have a more, I don't know, refined, a little more cognac taste in it, which is perfect for this yummy, 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 special Valentine's Day margarita, dark, sweet Valentine's Day margarita. All right, so I'm gonna strain this on top of this yummy, I wonder how I'm gonna do this over this glass. I didn't quite think this one, here we go. So here we go in my, my glass. You know I wanna drink this right now, but I'm gonna wait till I'm through making the other two margaritas. Doesn't that look good? I, I know this is gonna be special. This is for your, for you, for whoever's special for you for Valentine's Day, could be you or someone else, you wanna enjoy that. Now let's have the strawberry jalapeno margarita. Take a look at that recipe. We're gonna have two ounces of Blanco tequila, one ounce of that jalapeno simple syrup again, two jalapeno pieces. I'm gonna muddle that in with some strawberries and a half ounce of the orange liqueur. I'm gonna use Cointreau and a half ounce of fresh lime juice. Alrighty, so I'm going to cut up this stra two strawberries, put them in the bottom of my shaker so that I can muddle them with the jalapeno simple syrup. Some other ones already cut up. And let me get those, oops, sorry, my jalapeno. I need to cut up my jalapeno. Now I think I put down two slices. Maybe I'll put another one in there. This is a good size, jal oh, I can smell that one. Three jalapeno slices, and I'm gonna put in the one ounce of jalapeno. Where did my, where did it go? There, one ounce of jalapeno simple syrup. So I can muddle that in there, there it is. So we're gonna mush this up, make the syrup and the jalapenos and the strawberries happy together. This is going to be a nice, nice combination for a spicy strawberry margarita. Now, are you gonna be eating dinner at home or maybe with a movie? I think that would be, make for a nice Valentine's Day because who wants to go out to restaurants on a very busy, 
I think it's except Mother's Day, right? It's a really, really busy one. Okay, and now I need to put my tequila in here. We're going to put in, I said I wanted to use this. Whoops, caught it. Don Filano. We're going to put in the two ounces of Don Filano. That's one. That's two. Whoops, a little spill. And I want to have a half ounce of this orange liqueur. I'm going to use Cointreau for this. Cointreau seems to go well with just about everything, but I know it depends on what type of margarita you're making. We have that video. The best video we've done is four margaritas with four different orange liqueurs. People like that one. And I'm going to add some ice to this. Oh, wait a minute. I got to add some fresh lime juice. Let me get that fresh lime juice in there. I said a half ounce. That's about a half a lime. So let me just squirt this in here and then we'll shake this up. Oh, and I need to put some tahini on my rim. I haven't done that yet. I like putting tahini on, well, sometimes just regular margaritas. I like putting a, that, some tahini on there. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this after the fact. Let me get my glass. Go ahead. Normally I would have done this already. I've got my little rimming board here. We're gonna go ahead and lay it down like this to get some good tahini on there. All right, that's enough for this. That jalapeno is going to be spicy. I like spicy. This is going to be good. All right, so we have our strawberries, our jalapenos, and our jalapeno simple syrup. So this, do you notice I'm shaking it? I'm not even touching the table. That's a good shake, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put some ice in my glass. I think I want some ice on this for my jalapeno strawberry margarita. Just a little bit more. That should be good. And now we're going to strain this over the top. Now, if I wanted this to show up red, I could put some red food coloring in this. What I'm going to do is, all right, so I'm going to put a little strawberry on the top there, a little slice, just so we know on top of that tahini. There we go. And I'm going to try that one in just a moment. All right, so next we're going to make our Valentine's Day strawberry margarita. Let me show you that recipe. We have six ounces of Blanco tequila. I'm using this Mi Familia. Three ounces of strawberry simple syrup. One and a half ounces of orange liqueur. One and a half ounces of fresh squeezed only lime juice. And muddled three to four strawberries. Depends on the size. And we're gonna use some edible glitter garnish. And then on this beautiful milk chocolate rim. That's going to be yummy. I've just thrown in my strawberries and I'm gonna add the strawberry simple syrup, which is three ounces because we're putting it in this pitcher. So that's one and a half. This makes it three. And the strawberry simple syrup, just like all the other ones, we used a cup of cut up strawberries, one cup of sugar and one cup of water, simmered it till the strawberries were soft. And then that was our, strained it and our simple syrup. Okay, so I have this right now, the um, simple syrup and the strawberries in here. I'm gonna muddle them. So I'm gonna push these in and let them be very happy in that strawberry syrup. And then we're gonna add in our orange liqueur and our tequila. Wouldn't this, I, I think I like strawberries and chocolate for Valentine's or really just any kind of day that you wanna celebrate romance and love. Champagne works too, but for me, the margarita. I needed to have one and a half ounces of lime juice, which I will add as soon as I get in my tequila. Mi familia tequila, six ounces here, ready? This one is a one and a half ounces. So there we go, we'll get our three. So we're gonna have four of these. I know that's a lot, but it's Valentine's Day. And we're gonna have a happy, a happy Valentine's Day. All right, so a one and a half ounces of the orange liqueur. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the Cointreau for that. One and a half. And then we're gonna have the one and a half ounces of that fresh squeezed lime juice, which usually I do in advance. Oops, pretend that didn't happen. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and squeeze this in. This is getting full in here. This is my new shaker. I'm not sure, I haven't figured out if I like it yet or not. And I'm not going to put uh, anything else on my rim because I put that milk chocolate on there earlier and let it set. Because I think strawberries and chocolate, milk chocolate and a margarita, how? Oh, 
Sounds really good. Boy, am I throwing things around today. And then for also, if you think about what is your favorite adult beverage to have on Valentine's Day? If you want to tell me down below, I'd like to see if we all have the same one or something different. All right, now we are ready. We need some ice and we're going to shake this, shake this up, get it chilled. And then I'm going to put this, I wanted to do this in the pitcher so that I would be able to uh, pour it into the glass and not mess up that chocolate rim. Ready? All right. So, and I have this edible uh, glitter that we're going to put in that we used around Christmas time as well. And so that's good. I can tell I have a lot of strawberries in there. That's good because I want that flavor, that strawberry flavor to show up. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of this glitter in here, but I'm going to pour this in first just so you can see it. Now, so the strawberries are not making this red. If I want this red, I have to add something to it that's going to make it red, like food coloring. And I like using something that comes from beets or something natural like that. Or in this case, we're going to use this, this glitter. Now, I could fill this up with ice too, but I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want it to water down. But here, we're going to add our edible glitter. And I'm going to stir that up. And we're going to pour it in our glass. So this definitely looks red now. Before it may have looked red because I'm on top of a red tablecloth, but putting that edible red glitter in there has made a difference and it's going to be pretty. Now, I didn't want to put ice in my pitcher because it's going to be sitting in there for a little bit, but I do want some ice in my glass to keep this cold. So I'm going to just put some ice in here. I like these glasses. They're pretty. Maybe a little bit more. Because I said I was going to get three out of this, right? So I have to put some ice in my glass. And then here we go. Oh, yum, 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 yum. And, oh, that's perfect. Okay, well, so maybe it's not quite three, but it'll get two for sure. Maybe with some more ice. I want to put a strawberry on top of that as well, right there, with that chocolate rim. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Are you ready? So we're going to start with our very special dark and sweet Valentine margarita with the dark chocolate rim. This is that special extra Añejo. Oh my goodness. This is an adult beverage for an adult Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness. You don't need a lot of these, but you will enjoy every sip of this. And that dark chocolate, yum. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, that is really, really very good. I know it sounds like two ounces of that extra Añejo mixed in with the um, Grand Marnier Blue. Oh, that oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, so this is the Strawberry Jalapeno Margarita with a little tiny tahini rim. I could have put that red glitter in here too, but I'm going to do this. Has a zing. It has a zing. That jalapeno simple syrup muddled those jalapenos in there, but it's still, it's not too bad. Um, I, you know, I kept the seeds in it too, but I can feel it. I have that little bit of taste at the end of it. It's refreshing. This is super refreshing. You could drink this all year long. I really like these. Mm. And don't you want a little spice on Valentine's Day? That's it right there. And then here, your dessert strawberry. This is your Valentine's Day margarita. Valentine's Day strawberry margarita. Oh, I, oh, I'm ready. That is just perfect strawberry. That's lovely. Really well blended. And that chocolate rim. I want to scrape it. You know, you know what I think I will do next time? I'm going to dip this. I'm going to dip my strawberry in chocolate next time. That's what I'm going to do. And put that on there because this, mmm. With this, who knew? Who knew you could have chocolate covered strawberries with a margarita? This is wonderful. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you are enjoying something sweet with someone you love, with yourself too. Have a wonderful time. The hunt continues. <laughs>